Okay, here we go. Oops. Suck this one. TJ Spavy. What did I do this morning? Hey, maybe I should tell you what I played. Oh, hey, that would make... Hey, let's start it right. First of all, take us off of airplane mode. That's what I do. I do the airplane mode just to save whatever, you know. Saves a lot of things. It doesn't interfere things. I learned that from somebody. In my travel, somebody told me that. Boy, it's just been walking. In fact, I've been walking since 6 o'clock. It's like 10 o'clock. Four hours. Boy, boy, boy. Uh, what's I going to do? Oh, let me show you what I... Not show you, but tell you what I played this morning. I started off with... Uh, uh, even before I started walking, Nina Simone, Wild as the Wind. It's a six hour, six hour, six minute, 50, six hour, you know, six minute, 50 second cut, right? And then I went into my, uh, my regular, my, my playlist stuff that I, that I do. What did I do first? I think, uh, I went from, uh, from that Nina. Oh, I, I went, I went straight to, uh, I think I did, uh, yeah. I went straight to um, Marvin, a uh, piece of clay, and then I went to Love Woke Me Up This Morning, and I was walking by then. Yeah, I was walking by then, Love Woke Me Up This Morning. That's uh, uh, Valerie Simpson, the original version, because she wrote it. Her, I guess, and Nick Ash wrote it. Uh, then I went to Liquid Spirit with uh, Greg Reporter. I guess that's what I did. I don't think I did the uh, Love That Will Be Done uh, Prince Long thing. Then, oh, I know what I did. Somewhere in there, I went, uh, I put uh, New World Coming, that really, that Nina Simone cut that I really like. It's like orchestra. I can't explain it. It's really good. Um, but then, uh, oh, and I played somewhere in there. I was exercising. I was doing my walk there. No, I played, uh, I want Marvin Gaye, I Want You. But somewhere in there, I played my thing that I, I play this every once in a while. I really love it. Oh, uh, Through Tears of Joy by Orchestra, whatever it is. It's it's from the uh, movie, oh God, the, the the Losers, the Losers movie, the, the end credit that play is like, it's beautiful, it's unbelievable. And I play it um, sometimes just, it brings me joy. It just, it's through tears of joy. It's like, I can't explain this thing. This, it's this European People, I get they did from France or Spain or something like that. Orchestra, oh man, what is, I think I got the whole thing here. Let me see if I if I, they get information. Here we go. Through tears of joy, Orchestra Lunateca. Orchestra Lunateca is from the Losers, uh, 2010 um, movie, The Losers. Right. So the name is the name of the song is through. Tears of Joy. It's an orchestra. It's not a song. It's a more well, music, and it's called Orchestra Lunateca. L U N A T I C A. I'm telling you all this stuff because I'm telling you, hear this thing. First of all, you recognize, but you hear this, you go like, ah, it'll bring you, oh, it'll bring you happiness, joy. This is what I'm here for to bring you happiness and joy. Oh, anyway, so. And then uh, it, it just brings us. Uh, no, I mean, let me leave that alone. But that's not what we're here. Right now, we're trying to figure out how much I walk. There we go. 19,650 steps this morning. It's a Saturday. I do a long, long on Saturday, and Sunday is even longer. 19,650 steps. Think about it, because we count steps. But don't forget that miles and kilometers. Okay, kilometers, you want kilometers. It says 13.17 uh, kilometers. 13.17, did I tell you? Yeah, 13.17 kilometers is... Uh, let me let me write it down here. Let me get the the thing. Thirteen thirteen point one seven. I hope that's right. Um, kilometers or kilo k i uh, kilometers m e kilometers kilometers two miles. So kilometers. I I've, I've walked eight point one eight three four five eight six miles. Basically eight miles, a little eight miles, eight point two miles, whatever it is, like that. What's those numbers? Let me do those numbers. Um, 11, 19, 19, and seven is uh, twenty-six. Uh, 
and uh, 8 would be 32, no, not 32, uh, would be 34, 35, and then a little 8 more would be whatever, it's over 40, whatever. Ah, whatever, I'll do those later. Maybe I won't do it at all. I'll do my numbers, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't waste time with, this is not waste time, this is Saturday, we got to do Weekend Review or something like that. Talk about Weekend Review. Okay, so we got to talk about Weekend Review. I got. I went. I went back. I went to the the, the Aldi's. I, I had. I had been in. This, I had been to this Harry Teeters, and I. I went and found this Aldi's right across the way, and so then yesterday I had to go up to. Um, mm, I think I got to get the. Oh, I don't think my lighter's out here. Oh man. Oh man. Hold on. Let me get a lighter. I got a lighter. Don't <laughs> no, go. Can I borrow your lighter? Gotta get the lighter. This can't be. I left the lighter inside because I was last night. I was oh, one of the things I did this week. I bought a candle. I went to I went to an Aldi's, another Aldi's, right? Oh, well, I went to Chesapeake Square Mall because I had to do something there. I had to. What I had to? Oh, I had to. Pay, I wanted to pay my um, what do you call that bill? The T-Mobile. I wanted to pay my T-Mobile. And I usually pay a little. I pay a little bit more. I sort of build up so that when I leave, I have something. And then, then I put. That's a long, it's a complicated story. But to keep my T Mobile states number, I do. I go through certain things. Okay, so this is all right. I hope this stays lit. Oh no, these are old Citronella. Talk about Citronella, man. Picked up my. Uh, no, I drove the thing. Was picking up my grand nephew from the daycare, whatever it is. So I stay in the truck. You know, my sister goes and get her, you know, this whole grandma to be pick him up like that. Now I'm in the cup. This is like a five o'clock yesterday, something. Anyway, and them the mosquitoes was around. I ain't did no mosquitoes here in the morning, but the mosquitoes was around. But that was over in uh, Portsmouth. Portsmouth mosquitoes, terrorist. Um, so okay. So I wish I had a citronella then uh, when they did in the truck. Um, so anyway. I um so oh let me put this up here start so so uh so when I was coming back from there oh I went and uh I got I have a symbol that I use uh wisdom knot you know and I have it on several of my things and um so I wanted to put one on this one oh here right here here it is see it see it see it see it that's my symbol it's from West Africa actually it's a con um my understanding it's a con and so i wanted to put that on that shirt and then the other shirt if you saw me I, if you if we used two then i think it was yesterday i had the the cobra report um the COVID report um t-shirt on that i suppose i support them and i put a, i put the symbol in back but in different colors the colors of the the the, the, the COVID report okay so so when I was there, but I was there, I went back and I got, I got, I got like nine coconut waters. Mm. Also got, I have pomegranate little things with dark chocolate over it. I got one of those to put in my, my nut dark chocolate mix. You know, my dark, I got, in my nut, I got cashew nuts, uh, walnuts, uh, pistachio. I showed them myself. Uh pecan and then I have dark chocolate covered raisins and now dark chocolate covered pomegranate. Oh and dark and M and M's dark. Right? It's all in my little nut mix. I can do that. I'm not really trying to lose weight. I'm just trying to stay healthy, right? Okay, so but I got a lot of these I got well I got nine of them, right? So I'm I'm checking out. They said, oh you like coconut was then I explained blah 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 she said she didn't like coconuts I said oh you should try coconut water though ah, that's not, she said I don't do coconuts I don't do pineapple I said well well you know you should things can change you should just try it one time they, they, they don't cost that much here let's just try it see what see what it's like you know I said in another life I would I would open right now and let you try some right now ah, 
Okay. Well, that's going. Let me return the light up. I like to return things as it, as it, as it is, right? Brothers watching, uh, you know, Fox. <laughs> oh, I just ran a, a, coming back here. I ran into a candidate, uh, Sentera. Her name is Sentera. Sentera Brown Yearling, Chesapeake City Council. She's running for Chesapeake City Council. You know, nice, my widow. I'll post her up on my Instagram. I'll, I'll post her up, something like that. You'll see my guiding values. You'll see that one of these, like that. So I'm, I'm actually going to vote for her. I'm going to tell you, but I'm going to vote on Tuesday. Then I'm going to come back and tell you how I voted. All right. So now I'll keep my vote a secret until I do it. And then when I, but I talked to her and, uh, and oh, here, here's a picture of her. You know, she has a nice smile. Smile is important. Right. I'm just telling you, smile is important these days. And she's articulate and she's young and she's black and she's a woman. Her husband's out there helping her. Blah, 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 blah. So there you go. About Sentara, she's a respiratory. Oh, she's a respiratory therapist and community health advocate. She's proud to be part of the following organizations. That's your list of organizations. Oh, uh, she goes to first whatever. Oh, uh, she's an Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority. That's not the Skiwis, are they? No, those are the other ones. I, I don't know if Alpha's good or bad. Whatever. She's a uh, whatever. So she gets she'll she'll she'll, 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 she'll get some sorority, um, whatever. Her bachelor's of arts from, from Virginia Wesleyan University. Uh, I guess it's a offshoot of Wesleyan University. I don't know. A master of science. She's a master of science at University of America. Global, a global ca- campus. What does that mean? Does that mean she's online? I don't know. She has master of arts in law. Okay, so she does something about law. Anyway, I'm going to vote for her. Down ballot. I do down ballot all the time. I don't know what else I'm going to do. Um, so oh, let's make this a, a, a review. So, so, so what else I got yesterday right before, as I was going out, but I didn't get it to come back later, was, now I got a new bag for putting my, my stuff in. I used, used to use the other bag. But here, take my glasses off. But I ordered some socks. See, I gotta go, I'm going to Canada <laughs> next month. And, you know, and I got bamboo socks, you know, and they're good for, you know, they're good for what they're good for, right? But I wanted some warmer socks. So I was looking. I was looking on, look, looking online. They had these pock, pockos. Up. I didn't. I, they, they seemed kind of expensive, whatever. So I went and got these socks. These are worn technical organics, arrow wool, arrow wool, by worn shown. Anyway, arrow wool. So when I got the little, the crude, not the crude, the the one that you, the, the the shorter one, right? I, I figured. I did it this morning. I had the sock, right, and then. What I do is I wear the, uh, uh, I put the sock on, this little sock, and then I put my bamboo sock over that. This will be like up in Canada. Keep my feet warm. If it gets real cold, then I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll buy some full socks from up there or something like that. So anyway, so that's, that's what I got, and they gave me this thing. And then then they they have this thing, keeping your sock drawer, right? So what the heck is this? Good, good promotion, right? They say, if we did a, if we did our job right, you'll have this card so long that you'll have forgotten where to put it. So here's a hint, right? Use code sock drawer, twenty percent off, right? Next order. So you're supposed to put this in your sock drawer. So you remember, so next time you want some socks, oh yeah, these are pretty good. Let me uh then you usually then you get twenty percent off your next order, whatever. Good marketing, but they got a good bag, man. I like this bag. Nice canvas bag. I can keep my my, uh, you know, my stands, and then that stand is a little bigger, and that's and that thing. Okay, so am I finished talk, talking about that? Okay. Oh, I know what I'm going to talk about. I got something heavy to talk about tomorrow, but that's tomorrow. But this morning, for, I'm talking about YouTube now. No, not YouTube, Instagram. Let's get ready for the Instagram. Ya da 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 da, boom, boom. Ya da 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 da, boom boom, da 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 da, da 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 da. Now that's that's burlesque. I better not say that before I start. That'll that that won't be good. 
that what, what, what's this? Fail to deliver and try again. I don't, I don't know what that is. Okay. Here we go. Da 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 da. da. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, before I start, shout out to uh, Santana Yearling Brown. She's running for what is she running for? Chesapeake City Council. Well, it's backwards right now, but she's just running. If you're in Chesapeake and you don't vote on Tuesday, maybe you should consider Satira Yearling Brown. Only because I met her in my walk back in the street, and her and her husband were canvassing, you know, putting putting these things out. I'm going to try to drop you someplace. Nice young lady. I don't know her politics, but city council starts someplace. She's got some bona fides. She's, you know, she got some bunch of degrees and blah, 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 blah. But that's a, oh, that's a political thing. Hey, sorry. As you know, this is this. Well, this is me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to spit. Hello, Instagram. Sorry for that little political whatever like that. I don't know the sister. She could be the worst thing possible. I don't know. But guess what? I talked to her, right? I got a selfie with her. Maybe I'll put that up. And uh, and I got a little, she said, said a little something. So maybe I'll put that up too, right? That'll be enough for her, right? But then I was, I was doing, met her on my walk on one block. Then I was coming back and then she was by, you know, by, by my house here, by my sister's house. And uh, so I said, well, look, when this is over, well, when drew a look, when lose a draw. You know, I want to, I, I have a YouTube channel and I, I would like to interview you. You know what I mean? She said, sure. So she took my, um, my uh, email down. So if she contacts me, I put it on my, uh, I put it on my interview playlist kind of thing because I have an interview playlist. That's important. If you hear me just rambling like this, you want to do the interview playlist. So I told her that it's, you know my channel's not monetized. I don't ask for no likes, no shares, I don't subscribe, nothing like that. It's just for archival purposes. She said, sure. So we'll see what happens. You know. Okay. Then we'll talk politics. Then we'll find out what's what's going on. Okay. So I, I, I've been I've been walking. I got my coconut water. I'm sorry. Mm. I am gonna. I am gonna. I am gonna just test coconut water for to quench my little thirst right now. But a little bit later, I'm gonna you know eat. I'm gonna eat my water. But I'm gonna make my little fruit thing a little later. So on Saturday, I'll make my fruit thing. You know, because I got the pomegranate and whatever it is. I like that. Okay, but here's what I'm gonna talk about. Talk about that. Okay, listen. My blue light. My my blue light brigade. Right, as you know, uh, it was really interesting because. I realized that you know the blue, the blue light. They call the blue light. That's um, it's the first. We have first light, blue light, whatever it is. But right before, like a half hour before sunrise, is blue light. I guess a half hour before sunset should be something. I don't know. I better look that up. See what it is. You know, because you know, not everybody's an early riser like me. You know, I'm a Cancer three. I'm a I'm a three personality, which means I'm a 24 hour person. We all we all the time we we deal with. Right? But some people are just morning people some people are just evening or you know night people some people like me are like 24 hour people so you know you can't if you if, if you can't walk the blue light in the morning if you're not a morning person like, like let me tell you something okay my wife's a uh but she's not a morning person like that but we have a really good situation because when, when we are together whatever I'm there right now she goes to bed late like she'll go to bed like 4 30 in the morning right now I'm waking up at 4.30, so we overlap. Oh, joy. Good idea. Anyway, so I, I don't know why I told you that. A little personal information, but just telling you. Things, things, you know, things can work out depending on if you can work it out, right? But here's what I'm realizing this, especially this week, because I've been doing my exercise. I mean, I'm doing my walking, of course, but I've been doing my stretching because I have terrible hamstrings, always. But I was really, I was realizing something. You know, I think... Our task, what your task is supposed to be as you move through life, you know, things sort of repeat themselves like this walking that I do, right? Now, I had a terrible, I was paralyzed. I had a terrible injury in 2000, 20 years ago, in, in 2002, a terrible, it went to sea, whatever, I was, I was drowned, whatever, was, whatever. And then basically, I walked myself back to health, okay? They wanted to give me a uh, it's a spinal cord injury, C5 vertebrae, and they wanted to put tubes and stuff like that. I said, I didn't take that thing like that. So I basically walked myself back to all well, the condition that I am right now. And you know, it's still a struggle, you know, still whatever. But here's the interesting thing. I think from all this, my revelation from all this stuff is that the, I think as, as humans, what we're supposed to, what we're supposed to, you know how like a, let me talk like a child of a goon. 
like you know, in in the the samurai swords, the swords they tell you what you're supposed to do. You start hitting on the iron, you know, steel, whatever. You start hitting on the iron, right? And, and and you keep on folding it. And every time you make another fold for this iron, it makes the the steel is sharper, it sharper. So it's a process where you when you're hitting on the iron. And you're and you're folding it, you're hot, you're folding it, hitting it again. Basically, you're beating all the impurities out. Let's put it that way: all the impurities out. So, this, so you get this master sword. That's a beautiful sword. It's cutting edge, whatever it is, like, like like that. You know. So, what I'm suggesting is that that's like everybody in their own life. What they should be doing is trying to sharpen their own sword, their own sword meaning themselves. So every fold that you do and, and every knock of impurity that you get out of your, that you get off, that impurity that you get off, you know, you, you become stronger because every time you do another fold and you knock those, it's a stronger fold. It's like, um, it's like, it's like, you know, when you cut yourself and then the scab forms and then the thing, but, but the, but the healing thing, that scab is a lot stronger than the skin, not the scab, but you know, but at the scab is left, it's, it's a lot stronger than that skin. And they will tell you that even when you're exercising, you're supposed to do a little muscle tear, so when that comes back, it comes back stronger. That's what I heard. Hey, I could be wrong, right? So I don't know why, but I just need to tell you all that about about strength and about you know about just perseverance and consistency. I guess that's what it is. It's consistency. You keep on banging that thing until you get it right. Till you till you become strong. You become that. You become that strong. See, okay, just a little message, just thought I'd let y'all know, why, because I let you know everything, right? Okay, go take care, bye, see you, okay, jump off, ah. okay, so there you are, oh, man, I hope I didn't talk too, I can't say I didn't talk too long, it's a Saturday, I'm supposed to, you know, Saturday, we're supposed to, I don't know what we're supposed to do on Saturday, let me do the share here, now what should I put right, what should I put, what should I put, should I put, uh, uh, inner strength, inner strength, folding strength, folding strength, inner strength. The brother, the brother speaks, B E A, speaks on, forge, on forging strength. Forging is good because it's that if you don't get it. Okay. On forging, F O R G. Forge, for, forging, forging inner strength, uh, and, and inner strength, S G R inner strength. Let me let me capitalize inner, capitalize inner, uh, inner, and capitalize strength. I guess strength go on forging, capitalize forging. Yeah, capitalized forging on forging speaks, capitalized speaks, speaks on forging inner strength. Da -da. Western branch, add to series. What series should I do here? Uh, on the road, Eastern Cape, in the car, random randoms. Let's do random randoms. Yeah, done. Man, I didn't know I would. I've been out since six o'clock this morning. It's like it's like ten. I've been walking for four hours, four hours. I enjoy my walks. Um, okay, share. Oh, this hey, Radio Rockies got the Halloween. Portsmouth, New Hampshire. We're down here in Portsmouth, Virginia. Okay, that's good. Somebody's advertised some hocks, some socks. Better socks for better adventures and blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. Call Hancock Rucks. Oh, I'm missing the whole thing. Corey Glover. I'm missing this whole thing. Vernon Reed. I'm missing this whole thing. This Saturday, November 5th. If I was going to be in the States, then I would actually go to this concert. It's the Black Rock Coalition. Did you know, little, little known... And when Black Rock Coalition first formed, I was I was on the committee. I was on the committee. I was I served treasure. I forgot what I, my, my my thing was. So if I if I, if I bit up now, I would have definitely because I think that Daryl has something to do with Daryl McNeil, one of my radio children. Something to do with this. Hey, if I could, I really would be up there. I, this is a time when you need money because I would just go up there just for this concert. It's at Symphony's, it's at Symphony Space. Yeah, 
Oh man. Well, I missed that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be doing stuff here. Oh, I'm through. Oh, I get, I get carried away. <laughs> oh, Kyrie. Hey, let's talk about Kyrie tomorrow. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. I love, I love what's going on. I, it's just a hit. Y'all take care. See you tomorrow.